beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. Mercy manifests in healing and restoration. But this thing I don't understand. How it is it that He created the universe? Rules are over all time. This beginning cannot find found it has no end. It has no share for the sons of men. I've been here at the Shekinah Glory. At the age of 19, I was barefoot and homeless. I, I hadn't sought the favor of any man. I hadn't gone to any religious institution and sought prayer. But one day the Almighty visited me. I had received the report that there is a God in heaven because my grandmother told no lies. My grandmother was not a foolish woman. She said there is a God in heaven. I believed her. I heard about Jesus, and I heard about the baby in the place. I, I heard about the crucifixion, but I didn't really understand it. But on that August day, that 1980, the Almighty visited me. I saw a cloud of light enter into the house there was no source of light i was home alone in, in an empty house that was up for sale and a cloud of fog not made of water well we call it the shekinah glory but i saw i recognized it was it was light that was floating into the house and then I heard a great something in the spirit and it sounded as horses and riders on the horses, a great company. I thought the cloud or only filled the living room I could hear the expanse of, of the kingdom. And then I heard the voice of the Almighty. And, and my mouth was shut because I recognize he who has all knowledge, all authority, all power. And there was no justification for my follies. There was no justification. Nothing I can plead to defend my cause are out. Had no defense, but he didn't come to condemn me. But he spoke to me, asked me a question. He said, You say you know me, but do you know my son and what he's done for you? I've come to learn of this one, Yeshua, Hamashiach. We call him Jesus. How he came 
down from heaven through 42 generations and how he went to a cross was crucified for the sins of the world and was raised on the third day as he promised he would I heard the word that over and over and over again I heard and understood and finally received his grace sufficient for me but his question again is good for all humanity you know the Son of God. You know this one we call Jesus and what he's done for you. How he stood before Pilate. He could have called his army of angels, but he spoke not a word in his defense. He didn't avoid the execution state. Oh, not only that, but they made him carry it. Oh, run wide. He found the place where Jesus was crucified and the hole that they cut in stone where they put that cross was six by eight he had a timber six by eight and a cross beam four by four and they nailed him to that cross in front of the temple on the holy mount for all to see the Romans had no mercy Oh, they tortured him till he was unrecognizable, but he spoke not one complaint. They nailed him, they pierced him in the hands and feet and nailed him to that tree. But ultimately he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Our Father who is in heaven, he was manifested as written in Isaiah 53. The arm of the Lord revealed. And he was fit, he was afflicted, he was tormented, and he was slain. He had no guilt, he had no sin, no shame. But he bore your sin, he bore my sin, he bore our sin and our shame on the cross. He bore the Holy of Holies and interceded for once and for all time. The Lamb of your, the Lamb of your whole our Elohim in the earth paid the price of our redemption. Oh, you know this one we call Jesus and what he's done for you. How do you receive this report? What have you done with this one? The Savior of the world. The King of glory is he. I have been held him with a crown upon his head. Oh, he's not hanging on that tree. He's not locked up in a tomb. They brought him down from the cross and they wrapped him in linen. Put him in a rich man's tomb. But on the third day, he arose. Before, before, before 500 eyewitnesses on the 40th day, he ascended on high. But in my lifetime, I, I see the King of Glory. I know our Savior lives. This call we call Adonai, Master, Savior, Ruler, Hallelujah, Savior, King of Glory. Merciful is he. For he bore upon himself, upon his back, the sins of the world, that if you would simply believe, you have a right to come faultless, blameless, before the throne of grace. 
I am so glad about it. Now, I, I was not a religious person. I, I was guilty in my sin, yet the Almighty visited me. I, I encountered him with, with offering not a gold, not a silver, not a turtle dose, not an oxen, not a lamb, not a goat. But he came and visited me and introduced me to his son. Do you know the voice of the good shepherd? I know his voice and I perceive his compassion. His hand of mercy, healing of my body, bringing me through the trials of life with compassion, restoring my soul. Oh, well, when I was down and out, he picked me up. When my body was broken, he put me back together again. When my heart was broken, he gave me hope, and yet I live. How can a man prosper when his heart is broken? The Lord loves you. Your Creator loves you. His will is for your good and not for your destruction. And so he said to son, the son paid the price and he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Believe on me, and though you die, you shall live again. There's not another one that laid down his life to forgive that kind of a sin. There's not another creator of the universe. There's not another lawgiver. And there's not another savior. There's no look around. There's not another one. Jehovah or Elohim. The only one. Men imagine vain things, but the truth changes not. I've seen His glory. The Lord lives. I heard His voice talking to His angels in the first heaven. In my natural ear, I heard the voice of the Almighty. Full of power and that can light up the whole grid. And I understood what caused the stars to shine. I understood how all the stars gave it a light for the king of the universe. He is power and might. He created everything from nothing. Scientists look and they say, what well, is the beginning of all things? And you look down to the atom. You look down in the molecule and you find that everything can say only a positive and negative, positive and negative charges depending on number of positive and negative. Determines the element whether it's water or gold. How our Lord and yet today multiplies out of nothing, something. Let it multiply in your heart today. Life. And not curse. Kill the Lord today. And you shall know the way of life. For he is blessed and merciful. He said he will not refuse anybody to come to him. And therefore, if you seek him, you will find him. And when you find him, you find that he is good. You find that he is merciful. You find that he is the love. Hallelujah. Then he goes forever. Blessed be the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, both now and forever. Hallelujah. Lamb of Jehovah. Amen.